This video will show how to simulate groundwater contaminant migration from a point source when historical data is not available. Let's start with a geochemical contamination model that was created with the iData Solid program. In this case, it's a PFOS model based on recent monitor well sampling. The first step is to convert this geochemical model into a distance to point source model. This is accomplished by using the ModOps Solid Filters Distance to Point program. This program will replace non-null nodes with values equal to the straight line distances from the nodes to a specified point source. Next, the Graphics Animation Migration Simulation program is selected. There are four possible options. The low to high option will show the migration starting at the point source and gradually extending to the higher distal values. The low to high option with a cutoff threshold will limit the animation to the migration front, analogous to a shock wave. The high to low option starts the animation at the voxels with the highest values and migrates towards the voxels with the lowest values. The high to low option with a cutoff threshold produces an animation that is the opposite to the low to high with cutoff threshold animation. Please be aware that these simulations do not take into account a number of geological considerations, such as variable hydraulic transmissivities. Other possible applications of this program include in situ uranium mining, slope failure analyses, and atmospheric simulations. Thanks for watching.